Good evening. I'm consumer anchor Diane Lee. As scammers get more sophisticated, it is more important than ever to know exactly where you are most vulnerable. So in this consumer exclusive, I got expert advice on the top seven scam predictions for 2022. $30 billion in phone scams. Scam phone calls I get all the time. $56 billion in identity fraud. It's just so wrong. I mean, it just it makes you suspicious. That's how much Americans lost last year alone to scammers. It doesn't surprise me. And while it's hard to know how they'll strike next. The great Yogi Berra, Hall of Famer uh, in baseball, once said it's difficult to make predictions, particularly about the future. Steve Wiseman, the cyber expert behind the website Scam Aside, has a pulse on the top seven scams to expect in 2022. Number seven, counterfeit shopping sites. Some of those counterfeits are so good that it's almost impossible to determine. And even if it turns up high on a uh, Google or other search engine search, doesn't mean it's legitimate. Wiseman recommends plugging in the URL of any suspicious shopping site to the online resource whois.com. That way you'll know who created the site and how long it's existed. Number six, natural disaster scams. From deadly tornadoes to devastating wildfires, major natural disasters are making headlines more frequently, and scammers use that to set up fake charities. The FBI warns always verify the charity is real with sources like Charity Navigator or GuideStar. Number five cryptocurrency cons. With the digital currency gaining in popularity, scammers are looking to cash in. So be leery of phony crypto offers and hackers looking to tap into your digital wallet. Number four, data breaches. You are, not you may, you are going to be a victim of a major data breach. We all are. Wiseman doesn't mince words. He's most concerned about ransomware scams, like the one that recently hacked into AnMed Health. He says medical data is like gold on the black market. The credit reporting agency Experian warns a single patient record can sell for upwards of $1,000. Number three, social engineering scams. That's where con artists research your social media pages so they can tailor a scam right to you. Yeah, I started following a guy on TikTok, and as soon as I became friends with him, a guy pretended to be him, private message me saying that he worked for a nonprofit organization and wanted me to send him money. Number two, the Internet of Things. From our TVs to toys to our security cameras, we're becoming dependent on a lot of devices that are constantly connected to the Internet. Make sure you change default settings to set the highest security and make sure those listening devices are unplugged. We got rid of Alexa because we just figure she's listening all the time and just don't trust her. <laughs> And number one, SIM swapping. It's a new sneaky way to get around your two-step authentication for mobile banking. They call your mobile phone carrier. They pretend they are you and they get your phone number shifted to their phone. And so th in this way, they are able to not only steal your password, but have the phone to defeat dual factor authentication. So this is something we're just starting to see happening. It's going to be worse in the in the upcoming year. Yeah, definitely a scary one there. And one more for you with COVID not going away anytime soon. Be cautious about any emails, texts or social media posts asking for your personal health information. So here are the main steps to avoid some of these scams. First, freeze your credit at all three credit agencies. It is free and can save you from identity theft. Also, be sure to use two-step authentication for all of your smart devices and mobile apps. And finally, make sure you have unique and complex passwords for your most sensitive logins, including access to your phone. As always, you can find all of this advice on WSPA.com. And if you do have a consumer story idea that you want me to look into, just email me at dlee at WSPA.com.